On Sunday, Sportsman Speedway held the Sam and Bonnie Caldwell Memorial Race. The 358 Modifieds raced for $1,000 to win, and also there were charity events such as a 50-50 drawing and a Chinese auction to benefit the Cancer Center at Clarion Hospital. Now, on to some highlights. The program started off with the pure stock feature, although things didn't start off very well for Russ Caldwell in the 328. He tries to avoid the spinning car of John McCormick and ends up hitting the tire barrier. He was okay. Only six cars remained on the track, but the top five were usually nose to tail for most of the race. As they came down to take the white flag, it's still McCormick in the lead with Zach Myers in second. Josh Seipel in the 84 looks under the 26 of Mark Graham for third place, but that does not work out very well. On the restart, Johnny Mack and Myers are door to door heading into turn one. Myers gains a slight advantage and there's a little contact as they exit turn two. McCormick looks to regain the top spot heading through turns three and four. Graham looks for an opportunity as well. And in the drag race to the finish, it is Zach Myers taking the checkers over McCormick and Graham. Pat Fielding crossed the line in fourth ahead of Josh Seipel. Rookie Jacob Gamola would jump to the lead of the 305 sprint feature. Brian Riddle in the 14 rides in second, followed by number 46 Mike Bauer and Mike Miller in the G1. A few laps later, Joe McEwen in the 44 takes the fourth spot away from Miller. Miller looks to retake the spot, but encounters the lap car of Joe Sambita. That would be the last position change in the top five as Jacob Gamola goes on to take his first win in the 305 sprints. Riddle, Bauer, McEwen, and Miller round out the top five. We pick things up in the mini stocks a few laps in and on a restart. Brandon Ritchie in the white number 17 had led the race from the drop of the green. He is challenged by the blue 15 of Josh France and Bob Pease in the number one. They are glued together going down the backstretch. France goes from being the meat in the sandwich to taking the lead as they come down to complete another lap. France would pull away to take the checkers in the mini stocks over Ritchie, Pease, John Camposano and Jay Bloom. Now on to the Sam and Bonnie Caldwell Memorial Race for the 358 Modifieds. Rick Lias of the 19 would start on the pool for the 25 lap event. However, it would be the 21 of Randy Chrysler taking the lead at the drop of the green. Jeff Schaefer in the 51 would slide into third with the 88 of Sean Flieger, 66 F of Kyle Fink and 41 of Jimmy Holden battling for the fourth spot. Fink would eventually get by Schaefer for the third spot early in the race as they exit turn two. A number of cautions would bunch the field, but each time Chrysler was able to keep Lias behind him while opening up a considerable lead. Down the stretch, Lias, Fink, and the black 66 of J.R. McGinley battled for second, but they were no match for Randy Chrysler. Randy, congratulations on the win. We could say those restarts won you the race, but you still pulled away. Well, he was uh, he was doing a good job, 19. Uh, he was pinching me coming out of the corner, so I, I really had to keep the car straight. I couldn't take off like I wanted to, but um, he did a good job of trying to stay on the side of me. Uh, one time, I, I think I almost wheel hopped him, but uh, we dropped the gear in the car um, from what we did last week because we, had, we found some difficulties. We had our headers um, not on right, and the carburetor was bobbling, but it worked out to the track from last week. But this week she had a, lot, a little bit more snort, and uh, we, we had to drop the gear in it tonight. Well, this makes you two for two here this year, and first time ever. Will we see here more often? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be um, <clears throat> hopefully finish the year out, rest of the year here. We're, we'd like to, um, I don't race for a living. I race to spread the gospel and you know, spread the word of Jesus Christ. And I just, um, we, we're probably going to do a uh, Friday Lernerville. Saturday, Mercer, Sharon, and here Sunday. Just camp out and have a good time and, and eat. <laughs> now, I have to say it's very commendable that you donated the check to the cancer uh, research. Yeah, like I said, I, I gave my life, rededicated my life to Christ about seven years ago and, and uh, saved my marriage. And, and it was just, uh, I'm so in love with my wife. It's, you know, it's, it's not even funny. I just, I just adore her each day. And when I came down here last week, uh, it was a godsend because my mom was <clears throat> diagnosed with cancer three years ago. Then she went back in, she beat that, 
and they found a lump on her uh, liver. So she just, uh, God's given her each one day at a time, and we just enjoy that time. We can't worry about tomorrow. We gotta live God's um, joy for today. So he, um, I, when I got here, I'm like, wow, unreal. So I just, God just laid it, the Holy Spirit laid it on me just, you know, to help, just to help. And that's what we're supposed to do. So Randy Chrysler picks up the win in the 358 Modifieds, followed by Kyle Fink, J.R. McGinley, Rick Lias, and Jeff Schaefer. And in the micro sprints, Will Fleming took the checkers. There will be a big micro sprint event at Sportsman's in two weeks that is being organized by fellow driver Dave Hawkins. I'd like to thank the Sportsman Speedway staff for their hospitality and cooperation, and I look forward to the next trip back there. Now, coming up in the next segment, we go back to Bedford Speedway for a look at the All American Outlaws. You smell that? New furniture smell? Yeah, but it's more than that. It's, it smells like mine. Yep, that is just sign right here. Mine? Mine? You can. That's mine okay. too. Thank you. This is weird. This is weird. Aaron's wants you to feel what it's like to own new furniture. You're pre-approved for up to $2,000 in merchandise without needing credit. So shop today. Get started at Aaron's.com slash 2000.